MDCT's Douglas Monzora, who bungled the nomination of his party's House of Assembly candidates, approached the courts trying to force the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, to accept their papers and declared them duly nominated. Monzora, after appearing before Justice Webster Chinamora, argued through his lawyer Love Momaduku that the 87 candidates were disqualified because of the administrative problems which are faced by ZEC. 87 candidates who are disqualified for no fault of their own. They want to participate in the elections. The MDC is able to pay, make the payment, was unable to make payment because of the administrative problems uh, that were experienced at the Zimbabwe Election Commission. As you can see, all these are candidates who want to participate in the election. We are ready to go, we are ready to win this election, and we must be allowed to participate in the election. That's all we are asking. The matter was, however, postponed to Tuesday, with Justice Chinamora saying it could not be concluded outside the presence of ZEC itself. It has been postponed to 9 a.m. tomorrow, but the reason for the postponement uh, was quite clear. The uh, judge had expressed uh, very clear sentiments that uh, he believed it's a matter that could be resolved by the parties, particularly ZEC, taking the proper attitude that this is about the free and fair election. That we get it actualized with the people. So everything must be done to ensure that uh, all these interested candidates are able to face the nomination. So the ZEC lawyers have been asked to get in touch with uh, the client. And then tomorrow we'll meet in court. We are hoping that uh, there will be an understanding before we get the hearing. Which understanding is to enable all these candidates to be able to uh, pay their nomination. Remember that in an election, it's just a contest, the ultimate vetting comes from the people. So everyone who wants to participate must be allowed to participate. And on the papers that uh, uh, were filed by the MPC in court, it would appear that uh, on any reasonable interpretation, there were genuine issues, uh, maybe technical I, uh, issues that were there, which would have enabled them to pay, they have the money, uh, the, the, their papers are in order in all respects except just for the payment of the money. So I think it's only fair that uh, no one should take advantage of that. Let them join the, the electoral process. Uh, and so that is fair. So we'll meet you tomorrow at 9 and we'll see what the position will be. If ZEC accepts, then they, they will have a judgment by consent which will allow them to register. If they are not in agreement, then the matter will be argued. Then the judge will make a determination. Uh, we are very hopeful, and I think that every Zimbabwe must be of the view that uh, anyone who wants to contest in an election must be allowed to contest in an election. I mean, that's the best way of taking it. There should be no technical advantages gained by one or other, and that uh, you should not have a technical knockout of the MDC. Let them participate in the election. I mean, that's the view that uh, we believe most Zimbabweans will have. The MDCT, which has claimed to be the biggest opposition party in the country, struggled to field candidates in the 210 constituencies and did much worse in council. After the drubbing at the ends of Triple C and ZANU-PF during the 2022 March by-election, the party appears to have been stirring the evil of its political existence. HSTV News and Current Affairs, Maslin Mazura, High Court, Harare. Mm -hmm.